Hey, hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to make a very useful and very impactful home automation system in which we can control total 8 appliances from our Android app, from IR remote and also from the manual switch buttons. And apart from this, we will get feedback in our Android app. And also we have EP-ROM functionality. For example, if there is any power cut or ESP32 got reset, then the previous state of each relay will automatically restore because all the state were uh, stored in the EP-ROM memory. So let me show you quick demo of this home automation system. We can easily control our appliances from this Android smartphone app. And also we can easily control our appliances from this manual switch buttons. As you can see, we can also uh, monitor the feedback in our smartphone app, either the switch is on or off. So this system is working super fine. And apart from this, we can also toggle the appliances from the IR remote as well. Let me show you how. And also we can get the feedback in our Android smartphone as well. Uh, I have designed this home automation app. You will get the APK file of this app in the description. And in this home automation system, we are controlling total 8 relays. So to make this project, you need total 8 channel relay and ISP32 and IR sensor. Uh, but to make this project small, compact and reliable, here I am using my design home automation PCB. If you want to purchase this home automation PCB, you can purchase it from my website. Uh, buying link is available in the description. Uh, so let's make this project from scratch. This is the schematic of the PCB and after completing the schematic, I convert it into a PCB and after checking every traces and components, I finalize the PCB and for manufacturing, I gave its order to JLC PCB. JLC PCB is a leading PCB manufacturing company in China. JLC PCB provides high quality and reliable PCB in a very affordable price and ordering process of PCB from JLC PCB is very easy. Let me show you. Uh, just you need to upload the grammar file of your PCB, select the quantity and select the color masking and after that click on save to cart to complete your order and here if you select the fastest shipping method you will get your PCB delivered to your desired location within a week. After 5 days I got my PCB in a very good packaging as usual the quality of PCB is very premium and PCB looks pretty professional and this green color PCB looks very beautiful and apart from this JLC PCB also provide PCB assembly services 3D printing services and also they started multicolor silk screen PCB manufacturing services. So if you have any PCB project, do try out JLC PCB for your next project. All the important links are available in the description. Uh, this is code for our today's home automation project. You can download this code from our GitHub page. Uh, you can get the link of my GitHub page in the description. Uh, let me explain this code for you. First of all, we here added some necessary libraries. The first one is Bluetooth.h. Sorry, this is Bluetooth Serial.h, uh, which is used for enabling the uh, Bluetooth capability of ESP32. Uh, second one is S Button.h, which is used for using the manual uh, switch button to the ESP32. Uh, third, we have IR Remote.h, which is used for IR. And fourth one is EP ROM.h, which is used for using the EP ROM memory in the ESP32. Uh, then we have this line using namespace s button uh, this line is used to allow to use all the objects and functionalities of s button so by using this line we do not require to write s button object multiple times then here we created a bluetooth object uh, called serial bt uh, then here we define a ir receiver pin which is connected at pin number 12 then here we uh, define relay pins uh, pins for relay and here we define pins for switches. Uh, this pin mapping is according to my home automation PCB. If you are using any other hardware, then you can uh, define your pin mapping according to your hardware. Uh, then here we define EP ROM size which is 8 byte, 1 byte for every relay. Then these two variable which is uh, responsible for avoiding the multiple button pressed in IR remote. So this avoid the debouncing in IR remote button. Uh, basically this is delay. Here we are, I am giving 300 millisecond between two button pressed. After that here a variable toggle state which is an error type variable in which we store the uh, relay state. One for that is that means relay is on and if it is zero that means relay is off. Then this is a character type variable bt underscore data which store the incoming data from the app that is from the Bluetooth. Then here we define object for each button that is S button. For every button 
we define separate object so that we can use multiple button press uh, let me explain what is this uh, if we want to press manual switch button uh, for example if we want to press two buttons simultaneously and we want to uh, toggle both relays together then this uh, separate object is required for this functionality otherwise if uh, if i have uh, only defined only single object then this functionality will not achieve uh, after that here i am defined two variable both are array type variable uh, in which we are giving uh, index pin for relay pins and switch pin and these two variables are responsible in avoiding multiple lines of code for example here i am uh, write only this part of code for total eight relays if we are not defined that uh, error type variable then in that case we need to write this whole code total eight times so avoid to write multiple lengthy code i am using that array in which we get the uh, index number for relays and switches and we are using that index in loop after that here we define uh, some variable in which we are storing the uh, hexadecimal value of our ir remote so if you are using any particular button in your ir remote then you need to decode that hexadecimal value of that button and after that you need to paste here so decode the ir remote button first then paste here you will get the ir decoding uh, code in the description so download that code and decode the ir button hexadecimal code and put here after that this is the uh, function in which we are turning on all the switch and this is the function where we are turning off all the switch that is uh, turning off all the relays and we are putting all the relay state in the ap rom using this function ap rom dot write and uh, this function that is ap rom dot commit by using this function we are saving the uh, changes in ap rom similarly here we are saving the changes in ap rom after that this function which is bluetooth handle in which first we are reading any data is received from bluetooth or not if any data is received then we are storing that data in this variable that is bt underscore data then we are using switch case statement uh, if there is a, a string a then we are turning off the relay one and putting uh, toggle state zero and we are writing in ep rom uh, that is relay one is off that is low uh, similarly if uh, there is a upper case a then we are turning on the relay one we are uh, setting the toggle state one and uh, writing in ep rom that is our relay one is on similarly this is for total eight relays and one is for all switch on and two for all switch off but then by using this line that is ep rom dot commit we are uh, saving all the changes then this function that is ir handle in which we are first checking if there is any ir signal is received or not if any signal is received then that signal is decoded and we are comparing that signal from the uh, code this code hexadecimal code comparing with this code if this is button press or not then accordingly we are turning on that particular relay and then we are writing in the ap rom memory and also we are sending a uh, string in reverse that is re, uh, clbt dot print to our app to get the feedback in the app so if it is turned on then we are uh, sending capital a and if it is turned off then we are sending small a similarly this is for total eight relays and after that saving all the data in ap rom we are saving all the changes here then in the setup part one more thing this function that is ir handle and this uh, bluetooth handle all these two uh, function are called in loop function i directly explain all this uh, function here but first this function are called in the loop section now in the setup function first we start a serial communication with serial monitor at the border of at the border rate of 9600 then we started the bluetooth connection and here we are uh, setting the bluetooth device name you can give any name you want i am giving it ha underscore bt underscore esp32 you can give any name that you want then we are starting the ir receiver then we are starting the ap rom with the size that we mention in the earlier part of the code then we are retrieving the relay state from the ap rom by using this function ap rom dot read then we are defining the pin mode for relay pins which is output then we are defining the pin mode for switch which is input then we are toggling the relay based on the previous state which is stored in the ap rom then in the loop section first we are handling the bluetooth commands then we are handling the ir uh, commands then here we are checking if any uh, 
manual switch button is pressed or not if any button is pressed then we are calling this function in which we are uh, toggling the relay according to the button pressed if it is high then we are turning on the relay if it is low we are turning off the relay and accordingly we are sending command to our uh, android app to show the feedback in the app so this is a b c d e f g h and the index so if it is uh, for example it is relay 5 then we are sending e and particular index number that is 5 then according if it is high then we are sending in upper case and the index number and in the last we are saving all the changes in the ap rom memory so that's all the explanation of this code i hope you understand if you have any problem you can comment in the comment section below now upload this code after selecting the right communication port and right board and the right board is esp32 tape board connect all your appliances and switches as per this connection diagram and while making the connection please be careful because this connection required a ac uh, current uh, here i have connected all my connections the bulb is connected manual switch buttons are connected and this ir sensor is connected now we can easily control our appliances from this manual switch buttons and also from this ir remote as well and also from this smartphone app for this you need to install this uh, bluetooth received uh, app in your phone you will get apk file of this app in the description so click on this click on install after installation click on open to open this app click on allow now we need to pair the ESP32 with our phone for this open bluetooth setting of your phone and click on this pair new device click on the device that is name ha underscore bt underscore ESP32 because this is the name of our ESP32 a bluetooth device name click on this and click on pair after successful pair open the app again now connect the app with the ESP32 for this click on connect tap on this HA underscore BT underscore ESP32 now bluetooth is connected message shown that means our app is connected with the ESP32 now we can easily control our appliances from this smartphone app as well just tap on it and you are good to go with to control our appliances We can easily control our appliances from this Android smartphone app. And also we can easily control our appliances from this manual switch button. As you can see, we can also uh, monitor the feedback in our smartphone app. Either the switch is on or off. So this system is working super fine and apart from this we can also toggle the appliances from the IR remote as well. Let me show you how. And also we can get the feedback in our Android smartphone as well. And apart from this, we also have AP ROM functionality in which if there is any power cut or USB 32 got reset, then the previous state of all the relay will automatically restore. Let me show you a demo. Here I resetted my USB 32. As you can see, the previous state of these three relay will got restored because these three relay because these three relay will uh, previously turned on and all the rest of relays will turned off. So I am turning off the all the relays. This time only this one relay is on and rest of the relays is off. So let me reset the ESP32. As you can see after resetting the ESP32 only this relay will got the uh, turned on because this relay were previously turned on and all the rest of the relays were turned off. So this system is working super fine. We can control our appliances from this smartphone app, from this manual switch buttons and also from this IR remote as well. So this system is working super fine. 
सो दैट्स ऑल इन दिस वीडियो आई होप यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड एंजॉय दिस वीडियो एंड यू फाउंड दिस होमाटो मेसन सिस्टम यूजफुल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू परचेज दिस होमाटो मेसन पी सी बी यू कैन परचेज इट फ्रॉम माई वेबसाइट डेट इज टेक्नोलॉज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डॉट कॉम एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस होमाटो मेसन पी सी बी आई हैव ऑल्सो लॉर्ड्स ऑफ कंपोनेंट डेट आर अवेलेबल इन माई वेबसाइट यू कैन परचेज फ्रॉम माई वेबसाइट एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड शेयर दिस वीडियो विथ योर फ्रेंड फॉर मोर सच इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड आई ओ टी कंटेंट Once again thank you so much for watching this video we will meet in the next one till then bye bye have a nice day